These people, these music lovers in Russia, they came up with an amazing solution. In the hospitals, you know, if you've broken your bones, you're damaged, when you go to the hospital, they make an x-ray. These are images of the inside of people's bodies. And they are made, or they used to be made, onto plastic, plastic sheets. These people, these music lovers in Russia, they worked out a way that they could cut these sheets into a circle, put a hole in the middle, put them on these machines that they'd made, and record music onto them. So they started to make music, forbidden music, onto x-rays. So if you hold these discs up to the light, you can see a skull, or a ha pair of hands, or, you know, a leg, but you can also put them on a record player and put a needle in and they play beautiful music. They often don't sound very good because it's an x-ray, right? But sometimes they sound okay. They would sell these records very secretly, maybe in a place like this, in a market square, at night. All very, quite dangerous to buy them. The government, of course, found out. And when the government found out, they arrested the people who were making these x-ray records and the people who were selling them. And they were sent to prison for five years. When they came out of prison, they went straight back to making more x-ray records, even if they got sent to prison again, because the people who were making them were music lovers. And they believed, as we do, that you should be able to listen to music, whatever music you want, when you want, with who you want. And even though people were sent to prison, even though the newspapers wrote horrible things about them, they still kept doing it. And this community of people was getting bigger and bigger. People started to do it in Moscow. People started to do it in Kiev, in Odessa. And in fact, by the 1960s, this thing was everywhere through Russia. And the government could not stop it. It got too big. There's a very important comparison with today because I don't know about you, but on my computer I have got thousands of songs. Uh, and it's amazing, I love that. You, you can listen to anything you want, when you want. But sometimes I uh, get a little bit worried that because we have so much, that we maybe lose a sense of how valuable music is or can be. Now at this time in St. Petersburg in Russia in the old days, music was so valuable that people would go to prison because of it. So that is a very, for us, I think, a poetic and a poignant contrast with now, where perhaps music is becoming worth less and less. The Russian soul, I think, is however difficult the circumstances, the Russian people have always survived. Not just in this story with music, but in the past, you know, all the way through history, however difficult the times are, the Russian people seem to have an ability not only to survive during the war, terrible times, terrible famines, terrible weather, but they not only survive, but they manage to create beautiful art as well, beautiful music, beautiful literature, beautiful theater and ballet. And I think it's amazing. I love going to Russia and I love Russians. Mm -hmm.